What's going on? Hey, Walter, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Man, are you? What was the difference in that OU game defensively? I know Kansas was a struggle. I know a lot of guys blew yourself, you know, weren't 100 percent and all that stuff. But then you had the bye week. But what was the difference in the effort and just kind of what you saw execution wise against OU? Um, we simplified some stuff on defense. We kind of during that bye week we did like a little self reflection and kind of looked back at some stuff that was working, and we kind of went back to that a little bit. And just uh, the mentality we had going out to Oklahoma, too, was just a lot different. And uh, I mean, you saw how we played. So, was... Walter, how much of a difference was it having Addison on the, on the sidelines? And Gus mentioned earlier about his energy and positivity yes, and everything on the sideline. How much did that kind of impact you guys and the play you guys were able to do? Yes, uh, I would just say it was just, we was able to connect with them. I would say, like, we saw him out there sweating and Turning us up when we got big stops on the play, on the field, so like us seeing him do that just made us even play harder. And uh, I would love to have that moving forward, and I think that's uh, going to be a big part of uh, our success for the next uh, couple games. How, how big uh, in, in the game just for gaining confidence and then for kind of keeping the team in it? We're, we're forcing Oklahoma into those two missed field goals. How, how much did that kind of turn the tide a little bit, especially counting off? That's huge. I mean, anytime you stop offense like that, uh, beginning of the game at their uh, home uh, stadium, anytime you do something like that, I mean, that's huge. Anytime you could uh, stop a team from scoring. So, I mean, that was a big part of the game for us, for sure. What stands out to you about West Virginia from what you've seen so far? Um, I see they like to run the ball a lot. Uh, but, I mean, I don't really see they do nothing uh, too out of the ordinary. But, I mean, I see they like to run the ball a lot. They uh, hold the ball a lot, too. They're like a big-time possession team. So, I mean, we're just going to come ready to play as always. How much of a sense of urgency is there with this group, knowing you guys have to win three of the last five to make the game? Um, I would say the sense of urgency is always there. Really, I mean, I heard y'all talking about must wins. I mean, I feel like every Saturday we go out there, we feel like we must win. I mean, we don't go out there to lose, essentially. So, I mean, I feel like we're just going to keep coming and uh, hopefully we get a win this week. During the bye, you mentioned that the defense covered back to basics, and you know Jason mentioned simplifying things. So, what does that look like over the course of you know the week, two, you know, two weeks, ten days in preparation of the Oklahoma game? Um, I would just say building off that, just building off that momentum. Uh, obviously, I mean we were in a perfect game, so I mean there's still some stuff to clean up, but I mean just building off our mistakes and just putting up a better product this Saturday. Well, more so, what did the preparation look like oh. you know, in the build up to that game? Oh, what the preparation? Uh, I mean. We just kind of went back to the basics. We did uh, the more tackling drills. We kind of did some zone drop mechanic stuff that kind of, as you saw, we played a good bit of zone that game and able to close some windows. So uh, just kind of go back to the technique, just sound stuff, and uh, just build up on that. I know there's 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 darn moral victories. You kind of mentioned that right. it feels like like a must win. But, but do you feel like you came out of the game with, with kind of your edge and, and the team's personality back? Uh. Yeah, I guess you could say that, but yeah, like you say, I mean, at the end of the day, we're out there to win football games, so I mean, so that sucks in itself, but yeah, I feel like we did build our way back towards that edge, but I mean, ultimately, to have our edge back, we want to win games. You That's talked cool. a bit about how West Virginia, they're kind of known for their run game. At this point in the season, what do you consider to be the strength and what UCF's defense is known for? Uh, I would just say we're a, a hard-fought group. I mean, we don't really take no for answering it. In a sense, I would say uh, we're always just going to come out there and play our hardest. Like, we love each other and we just play for each other. And at the end of the day, we know we got each other's back. So, What were you, what were you battling back from? Did you get digged up a little bit a couple games ago? Or? Yes, sir. I had a, a, a great one hamstring strain. Okay. So, yeah. So, so, so what's that process? Like, was it frustrating? And you didn't play, did you play at all against Kansas? No, sir. I did not play the Kansas game. Okay. So, how frustrating was that, you know, seeing how your teammates were kind of struggling and you kind of feel like you need to be out there, but you can't? Uh, I would say anytime you can't go out there and help your brothers, it's always a disappointment. So, uh, yeah, it was hard for me to just sit there and not be able to help out my team when I felt like I could have helped out a little bit. But, uh, I mean, I've been in the training room a lot, and I would say I give huge credit to them. Like, they've been helping me get back fully, fully, like 100%. And uh, I've just been taking treatment a little more serious, which has uh, helped me out, and that's pretty much it. This is the first home game in nearly a month, so what's the like you guys coming back from home and playing in front of the fans? Is there, uh, anytime you play in the bounce house, it's, uh, it's fun. Fun environment. Uh, I just hope the fans come out and are ready to see your show. Well, if you play at different levels of uh, college football, what would you say the biggest difference uh, physically, like you said, with your body, kind of taking the training room seriously, just being in the Big 12, 
mentally, just facing these different offenses like Oklahoma or West Virginia, what would you say the biggest difference is just kind of in this conference? Um, I would just say uh, we talk about all the time, just attention to details. Like just small things will really set you apart from just making a pick, making a TFL, making a stop, you know what I'm saying? Just I would say in this conference you have to be very pay big attention to the details and one small slip up could cost you. Walter, what do you guys have to do to, to finish a game strong? I mean, against Oklahoma, you were down some players who were hurt, um, and you just kind of, and I think Addison said you guys got to run out of gas a little bit late in the fourth. What do you guys need to do to finish strong in the, in the game? Um, I would just say keep fighting, keep pushing. Uh, that's one thing we've been stressing for these last couple of weeks is all about the finish. And uh, I mean, we're going to go in and practice this week and harp on it again, just come back out Saturday and finish this week. Why do you think this team is better than its record shows? Uh, just the guys in the locker room, and that's just kind of a. I mean, y'all aren't in the locker room, so y'all y'all don't know. But I mean, those guys in there, like, just a fun group of guys to be around. All of them love each other, and uh, I would just say we're just a lot better than what we're putting out there, and uh, we're gonna show that these next couple weeks. Walter. Yeah, thanks, Walter.